there you go, Waffle TV, Waffle TV. I'm guest presenter Eleanor Conway today. I'm sat, I'm sat on a brown sofa. We're changing sofas more times than I change my underwear. Not that often. Okay, good. I'm sat on the uh, sofa with Donica. That was a nice hand grip, wasn't it, there? Uh, star of Peep Show. Oh, you're, you're, you're in Peep Show? I'm, I'm the director. You're the director of Peep Show. Good, good. Nice research there on my part. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Yes, very well. Enjoying the festival. Good skills. Good. Right, so I'll just have a look at your, um, your uh, press release. It's quite a sexy show, isn't it? Well, basically, it's a it's a venue. Peep is a venue, right. and uh, it's a venue dedicated to presenting work on the subject of sex. So, if that's not sexy, I don't know what is. I suppose. Already, my favourite interviewee of the day. Yeah, okay. good. good. Sex is good. Okay, so you have to sit. Was it each Peep member will sit alone in one of twelve private booths, watching for a two-way mirror Peep? Are you allowed to do that? Yes, it turns out you're allowed to do that. Um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty unique experience. Um, People are really enjoying it. People are feeling kind of feel, feeling, feeling a bit naughty sometimes, feeling a bit seedy sometimes, feeling a bit dirty sometimes. Are there, is there dirty things going on in, that, in those uh, those little rooms? Uh, in some cases, in some cases, yeah. I mean, Leo. Like what? Well, Leo's play sixty nine, which is the middle play, um, which is the favourite of the entire Pleasant staff, which, which is a fact I quite like. Uh, less the critics, but all of the twenty one year olds in the Pleasant. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that that kind of that, that one kind of. Um, is it about sixty niners? It's not about sixty niners. Um, What's it about? There actually isn't even a 69 in the show. That's disappointing, isn't it? Okay. But uh, basically, it's basically 69 scenes about sex. So it kind of covers, kind of, it kind of covers not everything, but uh, it covers a lot in, in quite. A bit of fisting. Quite, there's no fisting. There's no fisting. Right there. Sorry. A bit of anal. Uh, there is some anal. Yes. Double penetration. Yep. I used to work in a hardcore studio. It's fine. None of these things actually happen in the show, oh. uh, but they are uh, they are part of the uh, the discussion. Uh, they're, well, so they're just talking about anal no, no, sex. No, no, it's not. It's not discussion. They're, basically, it's six nine scenes. So, so they're all kind of little kind of snapshots of people's worlds. Um, and uh, I would quote the line of reference as anal sex, but I don't think we'd be able to air this if I did. Are we allowed to air it, Chris? Yes. Shrug of the shoulders and nonchalant. Yes. All right. Do you want me to say, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm actually not going to say it. Say it, go on. I'm not going to say it. We want to hear it now. We want to hear. Buy you've got to go buy a <laughs> ticket. Buy a ticket. <laughs> that's good. All right. You want to hear that line? You, it, 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 the line begins. There was one up my. That's where the line begins. Oh. I'm guessing. I'm, well, we can all fill in the blanks. Dirty, dirty minxes. Um, good. So, um, you know, uh, how has your fringe been so far? Has it been? Has it been quite a seedy affair, or has it been quite sort of, um, you know, clean cuts, no drinking? Um, last night was my first big night out in, yeah. all, you know, all that Traverse Abattoir type stuff. Yeah. Uh, that was good. It was good. Good fun. Good fun. I won't be doing that every night because I don't think I could last the festival if I did. Um, no, and uh, it's been lovely. I've actually, we worked really, really hard last week because we actually had to build the thing. Uh, and if anybody who's, who's passed it in the street on, well, it's by the Grand of the Pleasant. Um, it's a pretty big construction, and it, and we worked as a company. We worked 54 hours in the first three days of the festival, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday last week, uh, just to get the thing built and open, um, which was a huge uh, job, uh, but what very successful one. It, it looks great. The finish is really good, uh -huh. and the show's in good shape. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been we're mainly working so far, to be honest. Last night was the, the first kind of big night out. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. I've got a question for you from yeah. Mark Nelson, who was our previous guest. Are yeah. you open to his question? I am open to his question. Excellent, correct answer. He asked you this. What have they most enjoyed about Scottish people meeting them so far and why? Uh, what do I like most about Scottish people so far? Um, my favourite Scottish people was the two couples that came out of Pam McCarter's play Meet at the, in the final show of the day. And uh, they just had a brilliant time, and they were like with each other, you know, two blokes and their wives or whatever, uh, you know, probably in the 30s, 40s. And uh, they're just so fantastically candid because Meat is a basically about a couple kind of talking about the fact that she's just discovered shit loads of porn on his computer, and it all kind of blows up, and they have this, they they have the talk about it, and that's kind of the play, and it's a brilliant piece of writing. Um, and uh, one guy was like, uh, you yeah, know, it's a the deconstruction of porn, you know, it's fascinating. Uh, that was really bad. Please that don't. That was that. really awful. Oh, but it's alright, you're talking about sex, we'll forgive it, we'll gloss over the crap accent. Oh, she's totally gonna hear that. Uh, please don't. Um, right, moving on. Anyway, so he said, yeah, they just, they, said, they just said a combination of really intelligent and really funny things. Uh, like, 
it's a like it's a really interesting deconstruction of pornography and how all that works and the kind of ethics of it the morality of it and by the same hand uh, kind of taking the piss out of each other and the fact that they all know each other watches porn uh, at the same time they marry you and the one woman said to her husband she was like uh, what you watch porn what are you talking about and you know it was, it was just kind of wonderfully open they were really open uh, with each other which was really cool I think there is more of an open sort of um, uh, point of view with regard, to, with regard to porn like both in both genders now like I don't know some women I don't know get a little bit oh I don't want to you know they, get, they, they attach emotional connotations to their boyfriends or partners watching porn mm. but I think most women do watch it Probably, yeah, probably. I mean, but it's, but, but certainly a lot less. I mean, I think, it, I do think it's. I think you'd be surprised, mate. To be honest, all my yeah, friends no, watch porn. I, okay, yeah, no, fair enough. No, no, I, I believe you. I believe you. Good. Um, but uh, and I know a lot. I know a lot. Of, I've talked to a bunch of women who do as well. But um, but I kind of know that basically all men do. So yeah, I yeah. would still say probably less women. Uh, but uh, but no, I agree. I agree. I think the numbers are probably much much higher than most people would kind of expect. Um, yeah, maybe this generation more so than the last yeah, generation. Yeah, and basically the play is a, the play, partly about this woman kind of this woman discovers all these porn on her boyfriend's computer, and she she has had the assumption that her that her feelings about that would be very straightforward. Mm-hmm. That she would it would be it's disrespectful, it's offensive to me. I mean, she uh, and he to he we we learn this from what he says in the play because they've they've had this prior discussion, um, but. Um, but basically, what, what emerges is that she has, in the interim between discovering this and now, kind of just started kind of looking around a bit and just kind of trying to get a flavour of all, all this trying stuff. Trying to get a handle on yeah, it. Yeah, trying to get a handle on it, exactly. That's literally almost a line from the play. Um, and um, and turns out that it, it... She quite likes it too. Turns out that it does interesting things to her, yeah, yeah. And that's, <laughs> yes. That's kind of what the play's... That's kind of a big part of what the play's about, actually, is this, this woman dealing with her own conflicts yeah, around yeah. the kind of... You know, one of the lines is... Um, I, I feel like a bit of a hypocrite, you know. It's not that simple, is it? It's uh, because on one level, she does kind of still feel like the woman in the porn, open quotes, um, didn't want to taste her own ass. Um, and so on some level, there's a, there's a fundamental, uh, yeah, that you know, Brooks Bar looking at us now, uh, that there's a kind of a fundamental issue. Everyone's gone so silent. Brilliant. <laughs> Everyone's listening in the Brooks Bar. Everyone's just yeah. like that. I'm going to take away some techniques there and some tips today. Yeah, there's a kind of a fundamental issue which she, she has, which is that she, she, she just doesn't buy that this woman is actually enjoying herself. That her, her, boy, her boyfriend's like, well, she looked like she was enjoying herself, but she was probably enjoying herself. And she's like, well, I don't think she was actually, because there's certain things that happened that make me think maybe she wasn't, you know. So is, maybe there is some kind of use, but at the same time, she totally, this woman totally got off on it and, and liked that. And so, it, so it's kind of the, it's the kind of, it's the, it's the kind of virgin's discovery of porn, um, in, in, but it been in, in, in a woman in her mid thirties. That's amazing. Well, it sounds like a complex, uh, it can, sounds like a complex sort of uh, narrative. It sounds like a really interesting play. Do you want to just uh, give us a recap of what, where the show is and what the show is <coughs> entitled? Well, uh, it's called Peep. Uh, and it's The Pleasant Courtyard by The Grand, and it contains three plays. The first one is Sex Life, which plays at 11, 12, and 1. The second one is 69, which plays at 2, 3, and 4. And the final one is Meat, which plays at 5, 6, and 7. Oh, I like the sound of the last one. Okay, you can see me uh, on my uh, midnight chat show, Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble, um, at the Wiku on Bristow Square. That's Underbelly. It's really good. We've had some amazing guests. But for now, I just want to say thanks for joining us on Waffle TV. Come and find us online on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that business. Um, but until next time, See you later. So we're asking everybody to pose a question to my next guest. It's a magic mystery guest, uh, which means I don't know who it is. Um, What question would you like to ask the next guest? I would like to ask them, um, have they ever seen a peep show or a sex show and what do they make of it? Ooh, another brilliant question. Thanks.